With the flashing of lights and the quiet hissing of well-oiled and perfectly synchronized machinery, Boeing and Boeing's new bottling line made its official debut to a captive audience. The line is one very significant facet of an integrated development plan with a budget of $40 million. Four years ago, we took our sales data and plotted it out a de decade into the future, making our best estimates of what demands would be. From there, our planning team spent many long hours analyzing the data, debating the options, and sharing what their visions would be, and how we were going to meet that demand. The result was an integrated plan with aggressive investments across all sectors, in people, in systems, in equipment and infrastructure, including this plant that we have here today. The facility is an impressive one, dominated by the imposing structure, which almost doubles the production capacity of the line it replaces. What you're looking at is one of the most state-of-the-art uh, plastic bottling uh, lines in all of Central America and all of the Caribbean. We're extremely proud of it. It is capable of making uh, 22,600 ml bottles per hour, uh, as well as 10,000 1.5 liter bottles per hour. Uh, it is a complete blow and fill uh, bottling line, which basically means it starts out with a little plastic tube, manufactures that plastic tube into a finished bottle, and almost immediately labels that bottle and fills it and sends everything all the bottles to a shrink tunnel that, strap, that stretch, stretches plastic around a case of 24 or a case of 6, whichever the size may be, and from there sends it to automated palletizing uh, robots for transport into our main warehouse. According to Michael, this new line replaces a much smaller line which was capable of producing only 13,000 bottles per hour. Both lines are still operational to serve a significantly increased demand for product. That means all complaints about the unavailability of Boeing products should disappear. Well, that's part of our investment strategy. Um, if you look at the warehouse behind you, you will see that it's completely filled to capacity with product. Um, it, they, uh, we, we are extremely thankful for the continued support of the Belizean public. Uh, they, they have con supported us for years. They continue to support us. We're very, very happy with the demand that we have. And as such, we must plan. We must invest in that continued support. And this, this line behind me is one of those investment steps that we have taken. The investments by the Boeing Group over the course of many years have not gone unnoticed. Its line of soft drinks continues to dominate the market and so does its very attractive and popular sister, Bellikin Bear. That on that sister side of your activity, you've been able to deal with competition, even to the extent of unfair competition in terms of some of the CARICOM bears that come in from the LDCs which are able to bottle international brands and bring them into our market as product of those lesser developed countries in CARICOM. And it is a matter of great pride I'm sure to you and certainly to me and to the government that you've been able to deal with, if not completely seal off the competition. And that, I believe, <laughs> is testament to the quality of the products of Boeing and Boeing, and is testament to the talent, dedication, and skill of the staff of Belizeans that Boeing and Boeing <laughs> Reliable information to us is that sooner rather than later, as demand continues to increase, we may see the launch of a similar line for Bellikin products. Mike Rodon for News 5.